Welcome to the stream. This is Saturday Night Lights round number two. Brought to you by Gate Drop Productions and Legacy Racewear. This week the track built by Christoph MX. 122, you can see him there sitting sixth in the qualifying right now in this first qualifying session. We got two 10 minute sessions to put in a fast lap. We will take the top 22 riders, which tonight I think we're just at 22. Around 22-21, so we'll have full heat races. Top four from each heat race go on to the main event. Fifth through ninth to the LCQ. Tenth place with the fastest lap time in their heat would go fill that last spot in the LCQ. So they have two 10-minute sessions right now. This is session number one. Now they have no collisions during this qualifying session. This gives them the best chance at putting in a good time. <laughs> and tonight we do have again the $5 main event whole shot award last week give me the sticks got that got the whole shot in the main event so these guys want to get a whole shot in the main event take home that award from gate drop productions take a quick look at the times right now a little bit longer than last week's track. 102.722 is your fastest currently from Randy Racing. Christoph in second with a 102.789. Then a 103.290 by Fuego Andrew. This is their first time out on the track. They do have two sessions, so expect their times to get much faster than that. This is, is just the start. <clears throat> we'll go on board with your fastest right now, Randy Racing. First section of the track here after the start. Long loop sections and big whoops. That's going to be a tricky part of the section, and it is right before the finish. So I have a feeling we're going to see some races come down to the wire in that loop section. And pretty large Supercross Pro Triple there. Randy Racing coming up short on it. And then we got an option here on the tabletop roller as he goes outside, hits that half jump to get on top of the tabletop. A little bit faster there, I think. <coughs> Small loop section there, and then this quad is tricky. You have to get the corner just right, and then the triple into the corner. And we have an on-off option, or you can go over the table. He goes on-off, so that could be the fast line to stay low and stay on the tables. And they come it back across the start, a sand roller that takes them back down to the first turn. Then that long loop section that'll take them into a 180. To the finish line. So this track this week, good build. Thanks to Christoph MX. I think it's going to have some good racing. Lap times are going to be very close. It's going to come down to the wire in some of our heat races. I have a feeling.
All right, so that is it for session one for group one. They got one more session coming up here. Right now, OTR, your fastest in that group with a one minute point one nine five. So session two coming up in just a bit. Stay tuned. So this is now qualifying session two. So again, they have two 10 minute sessions to put in a fast lap. So this is practice two, it is formatted as a race. It does not matter where they finish, it's just their best overall lap time for either session.
All right, so that was it for session two. For group one, we're gonna get the times put together from this group and group two. So we will be back in just a bit for heat number one, so stay tuned.
So here we go. This is heat number one. We got Clapper 4545, TT Feet Dirt Shark 720, Spare 599, Sketchy MX, the Diesel 23, TKO Smokey, KTM TJ59, DK Cool Train 101, and OTR Legit 6919, Moto Tyler 103. Unfortunately, you are late. I am going to just put you in heat two. So I apologize, man, but you're going to be in heat number two. The 32nd board is sideways. Who's going to grab the whole shot? Top four going through from the heat race to the main event. And be on board with Spare 599. Here we go. Spare with a good jump off the gate. Clapper, a better jump. He looks like he's going to grab the whole shot. Gets around the pack. Smokey up the middle. Dirt Shark, Clapper, and Smokey, your top three. Somebody flying through the loops. Absolutely getting a crazy bounce. Yeah, we got KTM TJ now going up the inside there. Try to get up the inside. He hits the tough blocks. These guys go over this triple. It is a massive Supercross triple. Those three were able to clear over it. KTM TJ in fourth. OTR LG, your fastest qualifier in fifth. He's not in a transfer spot at the moment. He needs to get into the top four if he wants to make his way straight to the main event. Guys, do have 10 minutes plus a lap. Right now, Clapper is your leader. He grabbed the whole shot and he's been leading this lap. So what you want to do get out front, try to pull away from this pack of riders, but he's got a lot of pressure right now from second, third, and fourth. Dirt Shark makes his way into the top four, gets around the 129 of Sketchy MX. Spare 599 in sixth place. And meanwhile, OTR legit making his way now into third. So getting into the top four now in a transfer spot. And you can see the leader just ahead of him, KTM TJ, getting into the tough block. He will lose a spot now with Dirt Shark right behind him. Dirt Shark forced to check up as Sketchy MX unable to get the quad out of that corner. So a close race so far. These guys running some pretty consistent times. TKO Smokey back here in a good battle with DK Coltrane. Coltrane getting a little wild running into Smokey. Smokey able to save it. Gets back on the track but unfortunately loses a position. Battle right now, third and fourth. Fifth place, Sketchy MX just behind that battle. The top five have started to pull away from the rest of the pack at the moment. So six through nine need to find some better lines and get moving towards the front if they want to get to the main event. If not, they will be doing another race in the last chance qualifier. Right now, KTM TJ are holding down that final spot. Dirt Shark in a good battle with Clapper. Clapper led a couple of laps. OTR, your fastest qualifier now out front. Showing the other riders why he was the fastest. Now pulling away from the pack. That's what you want to do in these races. Don't want to deal with getting in that final transfer spot. Got a lot of pressure that comes with that position. You have guys behind you chasing you down, trying to get that position. Dirt Shark and Clapper, good battle right now with these two. Dirt Shark able to cut underneath. He's going to make the pass on it, but Clapper stays low. Those two almost coming together. Having a good, clean battle right now. Dirt Shark making the pass, so Clapper had a check up there. And now we got KTM TJ actually joining this battle, so those two getting in a battle may have slowed them up because now TJ caught up to them and sketchy not too far back in this rhythm section but not able to get a good drive out of it so right now your top four are still pulling away from the rest of the field so just a 
slight mistake there. A couple of lines coming together. Clapper still holding down that transfer position. Sketchy in fifth, starting to close up just a bit. Let's go back here. Coltrane and Smokey still in a good battle. Coltrane currently ahead of him. But Smokey starting to find his rhythm now. Putting some pressure on Coltrane for six. Diesel here in eighth and spare five nine nine in ninth. These guys normally two fifty riders uh, coming up to the four fifty class. Still running good with these guys, putting in some good laps. The rest of the field though very quick as your top four have really pulled away. Let's go on board right now with your leader OTR legit number six o two MTR KTM team. We got Dirt Shark here in second on the Red Bull KTM. KTM TJ on the MTR KTM team as well. And Clapper on the Baker's Factory Husqvarna right now holding down that final spot. And he's got pressure from the 129 Sketchy MX on board the KTM. This is he won round number two of the Saturday Night Lights 450 Supercross Series. This is West Coast Racing Tournaments. This series brought to you by Gate Drop Productions and Legacy Racewear. We have a $5 main event whole shot award brought to you by Gate Drop Productions. And the winner of the championship at the end of this 10 round series will get a pan and jersey set from Legacy Racewear. So right now these guys just fighting to get into the main event because they want to get as many points as possible each week towards that championship. Clapper starting to pull back away from Sketchy MX. So that's good for him. Doesn't have to worry about that rider in fifth at the moment. He wants to make his way to the main event. Does not want to do another race. Shark in second. Up behind the berm. Keeps himself down though. Does not go over the berm. These whoops really going to be killer tonight. It's going to come down to that section. I have a feeling for some riders. So it's going to be a close one. Not too much excitement in this heat race for top four. Pulled away. We have about two minutes and a lap to go. And then we have heat number two coming up after this. a lap remaining your leader coming through the back section of the track so it looks like we should have about two laps to go after he completes this lap as time is starting to run down so everybody's a bit separated on the track all in their own positions and your top four they have definitely separated. Sketchy MX still has his sights on fourth. And looks like Clapper with a mistake. So Sketchy gaining maybe a little bit of time there. You can 
see Clapper just ahead of him, so it's not over just yet. Got time running out. Sketchy needs to make a move. So Dirt Shark pulling some freestyle out for the stream. Gets the backflip over the triple. So you can see the clock now has ran out. Two to go. So next time through, OTR will be on the final lap. Coming into some more lappers. He's got the diesel just ahead of him. I think with where we're at, I might just let it go. I think they're aware they're coming through. But OTR butchering the whoops there, so I'm not going to warn the lap, but he's terrible drive in the whoops, bouncing through him like a rabbit. OTR back up over the triple, and he goes down. Just kidding, he didn't actually, he didn't actually go down. Screwed at the party here. Dirt Shark. And he's got a whip over the table on the triple, and he actually goes down, so. OTR now, your leader. Coming around on the final lap, back across the start. Diesel moving out of the way, so he's well aware of the leaders coming through. Appreciate these guys. Always good about getting out of the way for the lead traffic. OTR is going to be your winner here in heat number one. Dirt Shark right now in second. He's got K-Team TJ just behind him in third. Still has a chance to pass him. Can maybe make a move in the loops. Will Dirt Shark get through clean or will he make a mistake? Oh, and he gets taken out by the AI. Dirt Shark goes down. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, yeah, that was on the stream, man. You'll see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the AI, man. They are relentless in this game. <laughs> Alright, so your top four OTR, KTM TJ, TTV Dirt Shark, and Clapper, 45 45. Making their way through. The remaining riders going on to the LCQ. So heat number two coming up in just a moment, so stay tuned for that.
problem with it because it's all on checking. Alright, sound's going through now. So, Mo, your leader. Me sales game in here in second place. Give me the sixth third. ATV 20. Holding down the final spot. But it is early in the race. A lot of action happening. Slow J and Fuego Andrew in a battle right now. Fifth and sixth. We got Randy racing here in seventh. Moto Tyler in eighth. 
Carter, 164 in 10. Jay Berrigan trying to move his way up towards the front as well. Mistake out of him into the tough block. So these guys trying to find a rhythm early. So right now are struggling. Need to get up to the top four if they want to make their way to the main event. And Slow Jay and Randy Racing coming together there. And Slow Jay bumping them off the track there. I don't know how much that was intentional or not, but let's see what's going on with these two. I think they're just trying to gather themselves. Watch here. Slow Jay is getting a little aggressive in his passes, but we're going to keep an eye on this battle for the moment. And Randy Racing makes his way around. Kristoff going to make the pass as well. So a tough break there for Slow Jay. Needs to be 20, making a mistake. He goes down and into the tough blocks again, so another crash. So he drops back quite a few spots there. Two crashes in one section. Really is not good, especially in the heat race. 10 minutes to get top four. Jay Berrigan right now in fifth. Needs to get moving up. Top four starting to pull away. Moa, your leader, Miso Gaiman in second, Fuego Andrew in third, and give me the six in spot number four. Yeah, I needed to move one other rider over from the other. Definitely pulling away the rest of the pack in a battle of their own. I feel bad for Randy Racing at the moment. I feel like he could be up there with these guys, but keeps getting bumped around trying to get by these riders. We got five guys going at it back here. Moto Tyler, Jay Berrigan, Christoph MX, ATP20, and Randy Racing. All battling side by side. Randy, he's tired of it. Bumping Christoph. Randy has to check up in the whoops, and then he's got Kristoff up the inside. So Jay Berrigan and Randy and Kristoff having a good battle right now. Randy going to check up, coming around to that triple. He's going to get the pass done. Jay Berrigan going to come up short as those two come together in the air. So your top four definitely separating themselves from this group. Fifth through ninth, we'll be moving on to your LCQ. So those are also important positions as well. Because they want to make sure to get in those spots to have one more shot at the main event. So right now, ATP 20 now in nine. And it looks like Slow J in F10 and Carter in 11. Moto Tyler going back and forth. He's between checking up there for him. Might know each other, might be buddies, having a good time racing each other on the track. Christoph MX running in seven. Come on, man, you're the track creator, need to get moving. Alright, just giving him a hard time. Christoph running in seven. Building this week's track for round two. It's got some good options in areas in a really difficult loop section right before the finish line. So it's going to be interesting to see if any of the races come down to that section. Right now, I'll give me the six here in fourth place. Just behind Fuego Andrew, give me the six. Getting second in last week's main event. Get some good battles with your winner, Axis. Stay consistent, Axis pulling away, grabbing the win. Give me the six, got a second place, and also got the gate drop, bull shot award for the main event. So he's also hoping to get that again for round number two.
six starting to close in on Fuego Andrew, but these guys gonna be good battles. Six keeping it clean as he tries to take the inside there to make the pass on him. They are in the top four though, which gets straight through to the main event. Misael Gaiman having a good battle now with Moa. He's got the lead. So Moa leading for almost half over half the race actually. Now with the second, obviously these guys want to get a win. Carry some momentum into the main event, but he could be comfortable with that second place. So that'll get him straight through. You can already see them catching up to the lap traffic. And give me the six now, making his way into third. Small mistake on the 617. They have a good gap over the rest of the field, so not too much to worry at the moment. In the top four, Randy Racing in fifth place. Just now coming around across the start, so probably about a good 10, 15 seconds from fourth to fifth. So unfortunately, Randy gonna have to make his way to the LCQ and try to get a spot through there. We only take the top three. Coming around now, leading another lap. Carter and Slow J looks like having quite a battle with each other at the moment. Carter looking like he's letting the traffic go by, so that's what we want to see. Yeah, we got Jay Bergen and Kristoff back here in a good battle, but Kristoff gets cross rutted going down. So, Kristoff MX, just a small mistake as soon as we go on camera, man. That is the commentator's curse, as they call it. Giving six, Fuego Andrew. Starting to get into the lappers again. Give him a little warning here. Let's see here. Alright, so Misio Gaiman leading him around still. Boa really putting some pressure on, just hanging on the back. Trying to see what lines he's hitting. Where a good passing opportunity could be. Could just be studying for that main event, trying to figure out some good areas to make moves. It's a good spot being in second. You can see what the leader is doing ahead of you, especially as they go through the lap traffic. this battle here, 1 and 2, Misio Gaiman, and Moa 51, Misio Gaiman gonna go wide, he stays low, Moa jumping over the table, Misio Gaiman a little wide there, but he stays ahead, it's gonna be the final lap on the next lap, again these two making it straight through to the main event, but they're having a good clean battle with each other, trying to see who can be the winner here in E2. Go. Final lap, Miso Gaiman. One more lap led. Gaiman six and Fuego Andrew getting through some more lap traffic. Your top four now. All on their final lap. Randy Race and they're in fifth place. So unfortunately, those guys, fifth or ninth through the LCQ. Last lap charge, they got another lapper in front of them. Oh, and Moa gets reset over the triple just a little too far inside. I think that'll do it. So, Miso Gaiman 
He's going to grab the win here in heat number two as long as he gets through the final areas of the track. Coming back around the first turn and then that long loop section with he's got this track dialed in, putting in some fast laps. Staying consistent and Miso Gaiman going to get the win here in heat number two. Going straight through to the main event, Moa 51 and Give Me The Sticks crossing pretty much at the same time it looked like. Sticks with a charge there at the end and Fuego Andrew grabbing that final transfer position straight to the main event. So 5th or ninth, we'll be moving on to the LCQ. track man holy crap they are everywhere all right so that is it for heat two miso game in your winner moment 51 second sticks in third and fuego ranger in fourth fifth or ninth moving on to the lcq so we will be back in just a moment for that so stay tuned for the lcq
All right, here we go. 450, last chance qualifier for round two, the Saturday Night Lights Supercross Series. Now, we are only taking the top three from here to the main event. The remaining riders will be moving on to our B main event. Now, that does pay points, so you guys want to stick around for that B main. If you don't make it through, everybody wants to get as many points as possible for this championship. We do have surprises on the line. So here we go, on board right now with ATP 20, he's got Kristoff to the left of him. Top three from the LCQ, Kristoff gets a good jump, almost loops it out, has to check up. One rider looked like lagging off the start there, ATP 20 trying to go up the inside. And bumps into another rider getting reset. So Randy Race and DK Coltrane and Moto Tyler in your top three. And Moto Tyler now shuffling back. So Randy Race and DK Coltrane trying to get out front. Smokey into the back of Slow J goes down. A lot of these guys struggling to find a rhythm. Moto Tyler straight to the back of Kristoff MX. It is chaos out here. Randy and Coltrane pulling away. Slow J with a good run right now in third. Needs to put in some good laps, take advantage of this good start, but right now coming up short, Kristoff going to try to get up to the top three. Number 125 on the Husqvarna, looking to make his way into the main event. Excuse me, that is a KTM looks like. You are on a KTM, not a Husqvarna, it's just white. Nothing wrong with being white though. Kristoff MX in fourth, trying to get the third. And getting a bump through the whoops. Their bounce that is. Sketchy MX now. I'm gonna get by Jay Bear again. BC282 here in seven. Didn't get much time on the track. Coming into the LCQ, trying to get to the main event, but right now in seventh place. Randy and Coltrane pulling away. We're gonna have a crazy battle for the final transfer. Christoph MX still in fourth, holding off fifth and sixth right now. Sketchy MX. Makes the pass for fifth. Berrigan tries to get back underneath. Runs into him and off the track. So some tight racing right now. And Slow J going across the corner. He gets reset. Loses the position. Sketchy FX. Bumping into Kristoff there. So Sketchy MX and Kristoff coming together. Kristoff going to try to gather himself back up to get to that transfer position. Sketchy MX and Slow J, third and fourth. Slow J going to try to do something to slow up Sketchy. These guys getting a good run through the whoop section. Slow J up top of the berm. Sketchy MX now starting to pull away a bit. And Kristoff coming together. Unfortunately, Kristoff getting the bad end of the stick, but starting to make a charge back up. And BC282 right to the back of Kristoff. Oh man. So Kristoff like a brick wall in this race. That's two riders now. Destroyed running into the back of him. Smokey out of this one. So a tough break. Hate to see it, man, but appreciate having all these riders out here to race each week. Wish we could get more than 11 in the main events. And a mistake out of BC. So now we got. Slow J and Berrigan, 4th and 5th, battling each other. Scout front, Coltrane and Randy Race, and absolutely pulling away from the pack. Coltrane up the inside now. Randy going to try to go back up underneath. Randy into the tough block, so a mistake. Out of the 728. Still in a good spot, though, in 2nd. Got a good gap over to 3rd place, so not too much to worry about. Right now, Sketchy holding down the final transfer spot. Yeah, he's got Berrigan in fourth, about a straightaway ahead. So a sizable gap for a minute and a lap remaining. We'll see what happens. This track has been tricky and gotten riders at times, but we'll find out. Jay Berrigan getting a little sideways off the track there. Slow Jay as well. And Kristoff off the track as well, man. So. All these guys in the LCQ for a reason, it seems. They cannot stay on the track. <laughs> now, BC282 starting to make a charge back up. 
Yeah, only straight into the LCQ, didn't get any qualifying or heat race time, so a little bit of a challenge going straight into the track. And not the best start either, so it's not going to be easy. He's got Sketchy in third, as he's got to catch up to, but it's a whole straightaway ahead. Is Sketchy now going over the triple? It could be. Could be it here. Sketchy in third place, holding down the final spot. And right now, your leader on the SRH Esports Racing Team, DK Coltrane 101. The number 191. You see the time has ran out. Two to go now. Coltrane, your leader, looking to grab the win in the LCQ. Make his way to the main event. Randy, a bit of a struggle in his heat race, but managing to do good here in the LCQ. In second at the moment. Then in Coltrane, having a good battle for most of the race. Sketchy MX. In third now, starting to catch up to Randy, but those guys have a good gap over fourth place, so it's looking those are going to be the top three. Coming back around in the first turn into the whoop section he goes. He's going to get a good drive, stays on top of him, and going to take that 191 through. Checkered flag to the win in the LCQ. We got Randy Racing in second place, Sketchy MX third, BC282. Unfortunately, just out of time, Randy Racing and Sketchy MX going to take your final transfer positions. So Coltrane, Randy Race, and Sketchy MX, your top three moving on to the main event. The remaining riders will be in the B main. Sounds like Kristoff will help host for that. So if anybody in the LCQ would like to do that, you can join and race that one. So that will be ran at the same time as the A main event. So we will be back in just a moment for the main event.
never wanna hold you back. I wanna give you every chance to make it, to make it. I'm afraid if our love collides, you'll leave me alone tonight. 'Cause I'm changing and I'm breaking. Is this over? I'm scared to ask these questions 'cause I know that you'll reject my love. Moving slow, frozen to these pieces without a shoulder to hold me. So here we go, this is the Parade Lab, Randy Racing, getting a bit of a reset there. Alright, so MOA51 on the MTR KTM team, number 851, we got Sketchy MX here, the 129, riding on board the KTM, DK Coltrane on the SRH Racing team. We got a Gimme the CX, number 94. On the privateer effort as well, on board the KTM, Clapper 45-45, Baker's Factory, Husqvarna, TTB Dirt Shark, on the Red Bull Factory KTM team, KTM TJ, the MTR KTM team, we got Fuego Andrew on the G Fuel Husqvarna team, and OTR Legit on the MTR KTM racing team, Randy Racing on the Randy Tron racing team, and Misio Gaiman on the Elusive Honda team. So it says Randy keeps getting reset, is what he's saying, so... 
we're going to restart here for the main event. So here we go, main event coming up here for round number two. go the main event for round number two looks like Coltrane gonna grab the whole shot he's gonna get the gate trial productions whole shot award OTR with a good start we got a few guys coming together after the whoop section so big pile up there in that corner and Miso Gaming now leading them out KTM TJ in second sketchy MX in third Right now, Miso Gaming with a good start, leading the pack. KTM TJ in second place, Sketchy MX in third. And we got OTR legit now, making his way back up. He's in third place. You can see the leaders. Sketchy MX in fourth, Fuego Andrew in fifth place. And yeah, give me the sticks in sixth right now. These guys just about to complete a lap here. He's still gaming, leading him around for lap one. DK Coltrane grabbing that hole shot, but man, we had a pile up in this corner on the first lap. Dirt Shark coming in hot. So Coltrane, I'm sure, going to try to pass him back. Not going to be nice about it. Dirt Shark coming in hot after that whoop section. Coltrane going to make the pass on Randy Racing. We got a good battle back here right now. Moa 51 trying to close in on these guys. Not the best start for him. Normally finding himself up towards the front, but these five really close. And Coltrane now making his way past Randy Racing, but doesn't get a good jump out of there. And Clapper going down, so Clapper now in dead last. Coltrane up the inside of Randy Racing. A good pass there. Those two going back and forth. Let's go out front. We have a battle up front. Lead changing. OTR legit. Now your leader. KTM TJ in second. Sketchy MX third. Miso gaming back to fourth. Oh, it looked like he's coming up behind. I mean, Miso is in front of you, so. Sketchy MX holding on the second now. KTM TJ makes the pass, and we got a battle here. Sticks and Miso Gaming going down. And Sticks trying to make a pass. If he goes down, it takes Coltrane with him. So, not a good start to the race for the number 94. He's got Moa down right behind him, putting the pressure on. We get a good battle here, middle of the pack. Sharks 
I know, dude. It's crazy. You got everybody's in a bunch right now. Second and third. In a close battle. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right there. OTR just needs to stay consistent, but he's got 15 minutes in a lap remaining. We'll see if he can keep the perfect race going. The KTM TJ in second, gonna try to catch up and close up. Six seventeen, getting around the 721 on the outside, going triple triple through that section, finding a good line. So this pack really close, OTR pulling away. Somebody needs to try to catch up, put in some good laps, but right now, OTR taking advantage of it, staying consistent. Andrew now making the pass for fourth, starting to find some momentum. To see if he can carry that to the end of the race to try to catch up to your leader. Right now on board with the 602 OTR on the MTR KTM team. The leader at the moment coming back around to the start of the track. First turn, had some chaos in the start. DK Coltrane grabbing that hole shot. So he'll take home that $5 gate drop hole shot award. I'm sure he's not too happy about 11th place at the moment, but getting that hole shot, he will be happy about that. Taking home the big bucks tonight. You used to be able to get yourself five big chickens, but thanks to inflation, you can get two. out right here. Second, third, and fourth. All neck and neck. Fuego Andrew starting to close up on these two. Just waiting for a mistake from one of those riders to make the pass. This quad here really tricky. Sketchy MX coming up short on the triple. Fuego Andrew making his way by two riders in one section. So the two for one special stick starting to follow him as well. Dirt Shark into the back of Sketchy MX. Dirt Shark getting wild. So Sketchy now back to eighth place. But Fuego on the move. He is now in second place. Got a good gap over the rest of the field right now, but Fuego Andrew on a charge to try to catch up to your leader. <laughs> so right now, give me the sticks, put in some pressure. On KTM TJ, now sticks second in points right now, and he loops out, going down. Randy Racing now gonna get by him, and Dershark. So sticks losing two spots. He's currently second in points right now. Your leader, Axis, not here tonight, but sticks trying to get that points lead. He's got a good opportunity to do just that. Moa 51 leading this pack of riders. We got Clapper, Sketchy, Coltrane, Misio Gaiman back to 11. So not what we expected to see was up in your top three. And right underneath Sketchy MX. 
Catch you coming up short on that triple, so a couple of these guys starting to drop back as the time goes on. They're halfway through the main event. Clapper bumping into Coltrane there, but Coltrane going to make the pass, quadding past him. Clapper getting a bit cross red and going side to side there. Coltrane making his way on through. And now Dirt Shark starting to catch up to Randy and Styx. Styx making the pass into fourth now. Now he needs to get up to that podium spot. The number 94 just trying to get back to the 884 of KTM TJ. A, a good run here for TJ on the MTR KTM team. But he gets caught on the inside. He's stuck on the whoop and he goes down. Oh man, as soon as I say anything, KTM TJ stuck in the tough box from third to sixth. So a tough break, man. Got a feel for him, putting in a good, strong ride and just catching the tough blocks, turning a little too tight on the inside. Still got a lot of racing left, so anything can happen here. start to the race, managed to get through the mess of riders and get out front. A few other guys having to deal with some battles. up to second. So a mistake there. Out of 617. 94 makes the pass. And these guys really close on time. Spoiler Andrew. Charging up to the front. He has the speed right now to run with these guys. And Randy Racing and Dirt Shark not far behind. The thing is, gap really not changing too much. Your leader pulling away just a bit, ever so slightly each lap. But... TM TJ getting a bounce in the whoops there. Couldn't tell what happened. And not sure what that was about. I'm just keep an eye on this. Not sure what is going on. I don't know, I'm trying to watch what's happening here. These guys having quite a battle at the moment. Going at it with KTM TJ, but he bumps in the TJ. TJ going down. So these guys just kind of going back and forth with each other at the moment. 
<laughs> this is something. I'm gonna go back and your leader. It's here out front, six and second. Wango Angel in third, trying to close that gap back up. Just a small mistake, unfortunately, is what cost him, but he's got the speed right up there. Randy in fourth, making a charge through the pack. Let's get up to that spot. Dirt Shark trying to close up on him. These guys have been very close all race. to go. OTR Legist, still your leader, able to escape all the madness at the beginning of the race. A lot of guys getting caught up here. You can see the leader just going by over the dragon's back, sticks in second. Good consistent ride for the number 94, that's what he needs. Get that points lead. He's looking to do that as a points leader. Axis not here racing tonight. Shark now a good drive through the whoop, so now into the top five. So these two in a good battle, but Moa back up underneath. He's gonna get the pass done. Dirt Shark gonna come up short on the triple. So those two in a good battle with each other at the moment. Clapper by himself in seventh. He's got Misil just a bit behind him. Coltrane here in 9th place, Sketchy Max in 10th, KT and TJ in 11th. And a tough break for him, man, he's having a good run. all in their own battle. Normally try to warn these guys when the leader is coming through, but OTR has got a good enough gap. They're gonna try to let these guys race to get out of the way. They do. Looks like KTM TJ moving out of the way pretty easily. They're off into the tough blocks. Coltrane, Sketchy, MX going back and forth with each other. Here comes OTR now. Pass Coltrane. Through the lappers, let's go back to the 94. As he's heading through the whoop section, number 617. Heading into the whoops is now a very tricky part of the track. A very long whoop section with some tall whoops. So getting on top of the whoops are really key. Oh. 
learn to hit him right, you can get him good. Those whoops, very challenging whoops. Good whoops, a lot of fun when you can hit right. Get fifth gear pinned on him, you can really skim him well. Everybody though, starting to find their rhythm, starting to find their pace. A bit spread out on the track currently. Got Clapper though, he's starting to find some fire late. Now closing up to the back of Dirt Shark. Can he make the move or can Dirt Shark hold on? We'll see what happens. See if all the talk comes down to the end. All this talk in the parties. I'm better than you, he's better than me. We'll find out here. Clapper gonna make the pass on Dirt Shark. Or will Dirt Shark hold him off? It's his fourth sixth place here in the main event. Two to go. Clapper closing up each lap. Let's go check in on some other battles real quick. ATM closing up to the back of Sketchy MX. So OTR, your leader now on the final lap. On the home stretch now. now on his final lap. And we got Fuego Andrews still just right there in third. He's got a chance at second. You can see it. Anything can happen if Styx makes a mistake. Yeah, we got Randy fourth, Moa in fifth, Dirt Shark sixth place. Clapper still trying to close in on him, make that pass to get to sixth. That is one more point. Every point counts in the championship. Board with you, leader now, number 602, Otero Legit on the MTR KTM team. He's going to grab the win here for round number two of the Saturday Night Lights 450 Supercross Series. And give me the six, number 94. He's going to come through, looks like, in second place. Oh man, the AI on this track, they are relentless. Relentless. Man, Sticks almost gets taken out by the AI. Let's hope Randy can make it through here. This is not going to be good. You can see they all bunch up over there. Oh no, Randy! Randy gets hit by the AI! He's going to make it though. Man. Crazy. So that is it for your main event, OTR Legit grabbing the win. Give me the sticks in second and Fuego Andrew in third. You can see those guys, both, all three of them under a minute, sticks with the fastest time of the race. But OTR Legit taking that win. Give me the sticks, should be the points leader after this race. But well done to OTR grabbing the win, staying consistent. Man, a great race tonight for round number two. Appreciate all the riders coming out, the spectators, everybody watching the stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Lots of good battles this week. We got round number three coming up next week. Coltrane grabbing that gate drop whole shot award. So be contacting you about that to get you your dough for the night. Whopping $5 coming your way, my man. So thank you guys for tuning in for round two. See you guys back next week. Thank you guys for tuning in.